Well, an election shakeup in the city of Muskegon Heights weeks ahead of that critical primary vote, one that stems from the recent retirement of the city's longtime clerk. The Heights has asked the county to step in to fill that void and ensure every vote is counted in the August 2nd primary. Our, we have one of our applicants so the ballot boxes that we can put in. Mayor Pro Tem Ronald Jenkins points out the ballot drop box in front of Muskegon Heights City Hall. Citizens know that their ballots can be brought here to the city of Muskegon Heights. They're accepting them. What voters won't see is a change behind the scenes in management. Uh, yeah, Ms. Sharon Gibbs has been with the city for a long time. I mean, we have tons of respect and love for her for the services that she gave to the city of Muskegon Heights. Um, unfortunately, she did retire. That happened around the beginning of July, and the new clerk in town is is Jennifer Ross. She's due to be sworn in Monday, but City Hall admits Ross is not certified to handle ballots. The Michigan Department of State has a specific accreditation process that's required under state election law. We went to the county um, and told the county that we needed the assistance um, so that we can make sure that we have um, the help is necessary for the election process and making sure that our election is able to go um, go forward without a spot or wrinkle. So. That role now falls to the county clerk's office. So I just want to assure all the voters. Where Nancy Waters is usually in charge of counting up ballot totals from individual cities and townships. Empowered this year by Muskegon Heights City Councilors to run things here on a more personal level. We'll be monitoring carefully. With an assist from the county elections coordinator. She has run lots of elections and is very familiar with the equipment that she used there. That'll be the same equipment they'll be using in Muskegon Heights on Election Day. Waters says she's confident they won't miss a beat. The Heights will fulfill its obligations under election law during the transition and to Muskegon Heights voters, promising every voice will still be heard. That's the assurance that we're committed to, and that's what we'll be working very hard for. Uh, we are adamant about making sure that we don't have any issues. And Waters also told me she was helping to coordinate some of the training uh, Ross will eventually have to go through. The Department of State said that's a basic curriculum over several days and that even without the proper credentials, the city clerk would still technically be in charge of election activities.